In 1943, von Neumann was one of those who disappeared into the West to work on the Manhattan Project. Los Alamos, at that time, was a unique mixture of primitive living conditions, super secrecy, and brilliant scientific minds, all of which combined to create an atmosphere of intense excitement and stimulation. Von Neumann took part in most of the crucial stages of the bomb's development and was present at the detonation of the first A-bomb at the Trinity site. Nobel Prize winner Hans Bethe, leader of the theoretical physics division in Los Alamos, 1943 to 1946. In Los Alamos, in 1943, we had the problem of assembling uranium to make an atomic bomb. Uh, Dr. von Neumann was a consultant to the laboratory and visited us about three times a year for a week or two at a time. There were two methods being considered. One was to shoot the parts of the bomb together by a gun, and the other method was the so-called implosion in which you surround the bomb material by high explosive and then explode this this explosive so that the metal of the bomb would assemble in a sphere. Uh, in the beginning of the Los Alamos laboratory, only the first method seemed to be possible. It was von Neumann who told us and encouraged us to try the second and who gave us a lot of information on similar work which had been done uh, under his uh, supervision at the Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland in which shaped charges had been developed. He was very positive that an implosion could be developed and he uh, told us that this would have added advantages for the assembly which we had not realized. One of the advantages which we had realized was that the implosion would bring the material together much faster and therefore would prevent detonation of the weapon before full assembly. Another advantage which he pointed out was that the implosion might squeeze the material and might thereby increase the efficiency of the weapon. Even after his encouragement, however, we still found it very difficult to assemble the uh, material by implosion. There were experiments made under the leadership of Dr. Kistiakowski of Harvard to uh, study the explosive method uh, without the uranium being around. And uh, unfortunately, they gave all sorts of irregular shapes. Well, this did not trouble von Neumann at all. He suggested to us that we use something to focus the implosion, focus in a similar way as light is focused by a lens. And this device, in fact, has been called an explosive lens. Afterwards, he designed for us some configuration of explosive lenses which actually worked and which was finally used in the assembly that we uh, used for the first bomb in Trinity and afterwards in Nagasaki. <laughs> 